I got started because in my generation in Southern California and people older than me, there were very few who were even responding to the art I was interested in. I couldn't see it. It wasn't there. When I met Walter Hopps, he seemed a bit apart from the artists that I had been dealing with. We thought he was in the CIA always. I think you know that. You've heard that from him. Walter Hopps was always a very mysterious person to me. CIA or FBI kind of guy. Talked very quietly and in secrets all the time. Everything he said was a secret. He told me this. I said, why are you dressed like this? He said, because I have to be the businessman. Outside of anybody else who's not a painter, I can't think of anybody that I know who has as good an eye as Walter. That's one of the reasons why I would forgive him for a lot of the dumb things that he's done. Walter is the man who discovered it all. <laughs> Walter's the man who fed it all and had it. He's the, he's the engine. He's, uh, you know, everybody, everybody's riding on his bubble. He's down underneath holding it all together. It's no, there's no tree without it. Without it's a great pleasure to have all of you here today. I thought you all might begin your tour here. Take California.